Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, acne positivity, and just making you feel good in your own skin. And today, I'm really, really excited because we are doing a full face of REM Beauty. I got a bunch of these products sent to me um, quite a while back, everything from like the foundation, which I know has gone pretty viral on social media. We have the infamous eye balm. We've got more eye products, lip products, face products, literally everything, everything REM Beauty in here today. And we're going to be putting these to the test to see if they look good on acne prone and textured skin like mine. You guys know I have a lot of acne scarring. Um, so makeup sometimes can sit really differently on my textured skin versus someone with really smooth skin. So I show you guys the real deal here of how everything applies on my textured skin up close and personal. And then we're also going to be showing you how the final look looks in different lighting, bathroom lighting, natural lighting, and away from the ring light. And then we're also going to be putting this makeup to the ultimate test to see if it can withstand a full day wear test. So I'm going to check in with you guys at the end of the day as well to see if this makeup is still looking good by the end. So I'm really excited about this. Let me know if you guys have tried any REM Beauty and your thoughts. I think I forgot to mention, for anyone who doesn't know, REM Beauty is Ariana Grande's makeup line. And I haven't heard like that that much on it. I've seen some reviews here and there, but I haven't seen many people with my skin type and my skin texture try out these products. But before we jump into this review, gotta remind you guys that we have a bunch of new episodes on my podcast, Loud Talk with Lavi. We post every single Sunday morning at 7 a.m. MST on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and Spotify. We talk all about breaking down the walls of beauty standards one flaw at a time. So if you want to hear kind of my thoughts on confidence, battling insecurity, becoming your most confident self, go check out that podcast. I interview so many influencers, brand founders, and public figures that have gone through their own struggles with self-confidence and self-love and just finding that inner self-worth. So go check out that podcast if that's something you're interested in. But without further ado, let's get right on into this full face of REM Beauty. Let's go! Tell me baby what's the problem? Cause I keep trying to figure it out. All right, guys, I'm so excited to jump right into this review. So I have the full box of REM Beauty products here. Let's open her up. Okay, Miss Ariana is right here. And then we have all of the product information. So I'm just gonna lay this out in front of me so we can get into this. I have everything from the foundation, like concealer, face products, everything. So we're gonna be doing like a full, full face of this and then wearing it throughout the day to see how this really looks on my skin type. So let's just jump right into this. I'm gonna start off with the under eye cooling balm. So this is what this looks like right here. I've heard good things about this. It's supposed to energize the eye area with uh, a botanical powered cooling balm that offers results instantly and over time. So it has Centella Asiatica in here, which is gonna help soothe the under eye area and also blur imperfections, okay. Oh, that is such an interesting texture. I was expecting it to be like more liquidy, but it's very much like a balm and oh yeah, that seems like it would be blurring. So let's just go in with this right under the eye. I don't know if I'm applying too much of this, but it does feel very nice. And I do feel like it did some blurring right there. What do we think? I will say it's not like super, super cooling. Like it does have a little bit of that nice feel to it, but it doesn't like feel irritating. It's not like stinging or anything. So that does feel really nice. Okay, I think next is honestly the foundation. This is what this looks like right here. So this is the REM Sweetener Foundation. I have mine in the shade Light 2 and W. This packaging is very interesting. And here is what the packaging looks like. I've never seen a foundation bottle shaped like this before, but it's like a frosted bottle, plastic bottle with a pump. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes. This is Real Techniques, um, this is the sculpting brush. I don't know how much I need. I watched Alicia's review on this and she said you only need a little bit, so we'll start with that. I think the shade match should be pretty good. Doing another pump over here. Very full coverage right off the bat. It's not like emphasizing my texture too much. Let's see if it's buildable. I just added like another half pump. We're just gonna go in. This is applying very nicely to the skin so far. It's definitely more of like a full coverage, heavy foundation. I will say that, bit of a thicker formula. I will say the brush is probably the best way to apply this, but so far, I think it's sitting pretty nicely on the skin. My forehead's been a bit dry lately, so I'm curious how that will all 
look, but what do you guys think? All right, time to move on to the concealer. So this is the sweetener concealer. I got mine in the shade 4CN, and this is infused with REM Hydra Smooth Essence. This creamy formula conceals to soft focus perfection. I don't know what the REM Beauty Essence means in this, but this is a pot concealer, which is very interesting. Oh, my shade is very bright. We'll do some brightening there with that. This is what the, it looks like. I'm just going in with a little brush, and I do think that this shade is a little too brightening for me. But I will say the coverage so far is really good. But well, let's just see. Well, I think I'm going to apply it kind of like a highlighter like this. Yeah, it's definitely pretty full coverage, as you can see. Let's just highlight the face here. Kind of do a little old highlighting moment so okay i know that looks scary but just give me a second all right and then i'm going in with the foundation brush we use to blend that all together and make the color a little more cohesive but this way we still get that highlighting and brightened look to the face all right so i don't have bronzer from rem or like a contour product so i'm gonna use makeup by mario here just to contour the face a bit what about the nose we'll see if this foundation shifts underneath and i'm just gonna use my foundation brush to carve out the cheekbones here i love this contour i will say the foundation is sitting like more heavy on the skin definitely like a full coverage glam makeup type foundation for sure all right, let's move on and kind of see how it's sitting on my texture on my forehead there a little bit and like around my mouth, but let's move on. Next up, we have this um, Eclipse Cheek and Lipstick in the shade Leading Lady. It's like a bright red. Look at this. All her packaging is very like futuristic space vibes. This is just like a stick. Oh, it matches my nails perfectly. So let's just go in with this. Oh, that is red. Okay, let's blend. Oh my gosh, that is so red, but like still a really pretty color. Wait, that's actually so pretty. Why have I never seen Ariana though, like with a bright red cheek before though, you know? And I honestly love a nice and pigmented blush. I feel like it just makes my skin look so much more youthful and kind of blends my acne scores together. This is a really pretty shade though. And I will say it's blending out really nicely, even though for how pigmented it is. We're just gonna go more heavy handed with the blush today, honestly. That is looking really pretty. Mm, I do like this packaging, very cute. All right, time to set down the face. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder real quick. I don't know if Ariana has powder in her line, but I'm just gonna use some of this translucent powder on a little powder puff and set right under the eyes and kind of in my T zone. This foundation, I definitely think for how kind of full fuller coverage it is i do think you need to set it for sure moving right along we have the highlight this is the interstellar highlighter topper in the shade miss mercury i don't really know what it means by a highlighter topper but let's see this is what the shade looks like that's a little swatch oh that is really pretty that is a really pretty sh oh my goodness wow i would put that all over the eyes as well that's really pretty so let's go in with a little brush okay oh that is stunning i haven't like why haven't i heard that many great things about these highlighters i feel like that's really pretty but it's still like subtle like it's not like a huge shiny moment i'm gonna highlight the nose today i don't do that too often but i like that and it's not emphasizing my texture that much either which i do enjoy so that's really pretty time to move on to the eyes this is the midnight shadows eyeshadow palette in the shade principessa i think that's how we say that so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like some very very beautiful shades this is definitely right up my alley of shades that i typically like to use so let's dive right into this i'm gonna dive into this beautiful medium brown shade right there and we're gonna pop this in the crease i feel like ariana likes to do some fun eyeshadow looks and i love a good bold eyeshadow look so let's just have some fun and play around today well that is blending out pretty nicely and it's pretty pigmented i don't see her talk too much about her line like i feel like this could have been a makeup line that's kind of like without ariana like it doesn't like when i look at these products 
I'm not like, oh, this is like very Ariana Grande coated. I would say other than the packaging, like the packaging, I can definitely see Ariana in, but products themselves, I don't know. I know she's like a glam girly, but you never like see her really hopping on doing her makeup that much, like herself. Then I'm gonna grab the brown shade right here. Pop this on the outer corner and blend this up to my crease. And really smoking this out because you guys already know we're setting the base for a cat eye here. We have to. This would not be an Ariana Grande look, I feel like, without that. I actually did a full Ariana Grande makeup look on my YouTube channel like years ago. I did the ponytail, like super long extension. I did the makeup. And honestly, the photos I took, I thought I kind of slayed them. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take that same medium brown shade and go in on the lower lash line here. I don't love how this concealer is sitting under my eyes as I'm looking closer here, I have to say. Like right under my eyes, it's sitting okay. But on some of my like dry texture, like this acne scar I have here, it's not sitting in the most favorable way. I do like this eyeshadow, easy to work with. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and just kind of stamp this along my lashes, setting a base for the liner we're gonna do. It's a pretty pigmented black shadow, I must say. Okay, I wanna dip into the shimmers in here, but, but, we have an eyeshadow, a liquid eyeshadow. This is the Midnight Shadows Liquid Shadow in the shade Fembot. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that. Let's do a quick swatch. Oh, yes. That is so beautiful. Do we see that? It's like going from like shifting from like gold to blue. That is really, really beautiful. I think I have to just use this all over. So let's just go in. That is so pretty. Are you kidding me? I do like that the applicator is kind of more pointed. You can get more of a precise application. This is sending me back to like 2018, 2019 for me because I used to use a shade like this all the time. Like no matter what, if I was going to the grocery store, a night out, a date night, anything. Like, I would use these types of shades and I have to say this shade Fembot is really pretty. Can we build it up a bit? Let's see. That's a really, really stunning shade right there. Wow. I'm just gonna tap out that center with my finger, but that looks stunning. But that looks stunning on the eyes. And to finish off the eyes, I do have the liner and the mascara. So let's jump into the liner here. This is the At The Borderline Eyeliner Marker in the shade Midnight Black. If this eyeliner isn't good, guys, if this eyeliner isn't good, I don't know. Okay, so it's a nice pointed tip. Ooh, seems very liquidy, but we have some pigment there, so there's some hope. Let's jump into this and start curving out a line. I haven't done a liquid liner in a minute, and she does her liquid liner so interesting. But I'm just gonna do, I remember when that video tutorial came out of her doing her liner and the internet like went crazy, but I'm just gonna do it how I usually do. I don't typically like a pen liner, but this one is applying pretty nicely. It's very pigmented. I like that liner actually for a pen liner. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, is it my absolute favorite liner? No, nothing in my eyes will ever beat the NYC liquid liner, but not bad for a pen tip, as I said. All right, time to try out the mascara. So I'm just gonna give my lashes a quick curl. And this is the Flourishing Lengthening Mascara in the shade Midnight Black. Here's what the packaging looks like. Ooh, and the brush is a short bristle, like rubber bristle brush. So let's just apply it. Oh, you can get really get really nice and close in there. I'm not getting that much product on the lashes, but I will say it's separating them out really nicely. Oh, it's a very like natural mascara, like no clumps. I will say that. So if you like something that's more volumizing, you're probably not gonna like this, but if you like something that's very lengthening, separating, and just gives you that like fluffy lash look, you might really like this. I feel like this would be awesome to use with falsies because you can really get in there and kind of blend. Very, very easy to apply on the bottom lashes though, and it's coating them really nicely. I will say it's not like that buildable on the top. Like I feel like no matter how much you apply, you're not gonna get like any clumping or any of that. All right, now we have a bunch of lip products to try out. We have two plumping lip glosses and a lip oil as well. Let me throw on some lip liner real quick. This is Max Soar. So let's start off with the shade VCR. This is the plumping lip gloss. Ooh. Oh, that's not the type of packaging I was expecting. I thought it'd be like a 
doe foot applicator, but it's a little squeezy too. Oh, that's pretty pigmented actually. Nice nude shade. Let's just go in. It smells like cake. <laughs> Very pigmented actually and not sticky. Very glide on formula and the applicator does make it kind of easy to apply on the go. And it has a lot of color to it. Like I wasn't expecting it to have this much color. Um, next up we have the other plumping lip gloss, which is a clear squeezy tube this time. I wonder why they did like two different packaging types for these, but this is just a clear lip gloss. It feels like the same type of formula where it's very glidey, not sticky at all. Very, very, very glidey. And then last but not least, we have the lip oil. This is the Essential Drip Lip Oil in the shade Mint Condition. Oh my gosh. And it's literally blue. Guys, what is this lip oil? This is from Rem Beauty and this is the Essential Drip Lip Oil in the shade Mint Condition. And the craziest part is this applicator. Wait till you see this. It has a little metal ball in there and the applicator looks like a little seat. Do you see that? I kind of want to apply this. I want to do a swatch of it. Okay, it's definitely clear, but that roller ball feels so strange in there. Okay, let's wipe off the lip color I have on. So keeping the lip liner on though. And let's go in with this lip oil. Oh, that's so weird that they put a little roller ball in there. Oh, that is very minty. Kind of has that plumping effect to it. Feels really nice on. It's not like that glossy where it looks like a lot on the lips. Like it's kind of melting into the lips really, really quickly. Very minty cooling feeling though. That is very very interesting. What do you guys think of this product? All right, I think that's it. I think that's all the products. All right guys, so that is the full face of makeup. The makeup is done. I will say I feel very full glam. I do really like how everything's sitting on the skin except for whatever bunching is going on under my eye there. Like, do we see that? I don't know what, I don't know what's going on there, but the rest I think looks really, really pretty. Of course though, this is in front of the ring light, which changes a lot. So let me show you guys what this looks like in different lighting. All right, so here's away from the ring light. Um, the ring light's right to this side. So as you can see when I'm not facing direct light, like look at that change of how the texture just appears so much more. And this is how the makeup is sitting. And here is some good old bathroom lighting. I always find bathroom lighting gives a really real look of how the makeup actually sits on the skin. So here's what we're dealing with. And here's some natural lighting. There's snow out, so I always think that really brightens up the face. And here's the makeup, nice and close view. So I'm gonna wear this all day and I'm gonna check in with you guys later to see if this makeup can really withstand a wear test as well. See you in a bit. Holy guys, it has been a day. It has sure been a day. It is currently 8. 55, almost 9 p.m. I've had this week on for about nine hours um, and I am ready to go to bed. <laughs> Guys, I'm such a grandma. I literally cannot stay up late like at all. It's 9 p.m. and I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for bed. Um, Sunday night though, so I usually get up pretty early during the week. So I'm ready to go shower and take off this makeup, but we have to kind of take a look because I have some thoughts. I have some thoughts, so let's zoom you guys in. All right, so we've definitely had some wearing and tearing. You can see around my chin that a lot of the product has worn off. I was eating, we had like a family celebration for my brother's birthday today, so um, you know, my lips were touching my chin a lot. I was probably doing a lot of like this action. So the foundation did wear around there. Um, same around my nose, you can probably see here. I am still recovering from a bit of a cold. So I was, you know, blowing my nose a lot and all of that, so. That obviously rubbed off some of the product. I will say my pore area here, this usually gets pretty oily, greasy, broken up for me, and it didn't, so I really, really like that. Um, and then this area for me on my forehead as well gets pretty greasy. It's a little greasy, like I could use a touch of powder, but it doesn't look that bad, if you know what I mean. But definitely the most breakage around my nose, which makes sense because I was blowing my nose and stuff. It didn't sink into my smile lines actually that much or like my forehead lines um under eyes look pretty good like i don't have really any creasing over here we still have this dryness weird patch going on there i don't know what happened there from the start but pretty good i will say this foundation kind of shocked me because i it's like a i would say like medium but full glam foundation if that makes sense like this is definitely a foundation that i would wear if i'm doing 
or full glam makeup rather than like a natural beat. Like this is gonna give you that eyewear makeup type look. So it's definitely nothing like super, super natural, but if you like that like more glam makeup look, I feel like you'd really like this foundation. And I do think it's sitting pretty nicely on the skin. The concealer was interesting. I think I needed a different shade to really try it out. Um, the eyeshadow, I will say it faded a little bit for sure, but still looking pretty nice. And I love the color scheme of this palette. I'm excited to play around with it more. The blush, I like it. And cream blushes usually wear like really fast. I will say there has been some fading, but I really enjoyed this formula. The color was very flattering. So I'll definitely be using that again. The mascara, very, very lengthening. So I do like how it separated the lashes. The highlighter, I haven't used highlighter that much lately, but this one I actually really liked. It's emphasizing texture a little bit, which that's going to happen when you apply shimmery stuff over texture but it's a nice formula it's definitely more of a subtle product like not like super blinding but again more glam makeup this is really giving me more glam makeup rather than very natural which is a lot of what we've been seeing with makeup brands lately so it was kind of fun to like have a moment to play around with makeup um today this eyeshadow topper gorgeous it did crease up just a bit as you can probably see there but the color is stunning i would definitely wear this again and the liquid liner surprised me it hasn't faded or smudged like it's not really smudging too much i did like how it applied i'm not still the biggest fan of like pen tip applicators but pretty good and then the last products were the lippies so lip oils i always find lip oils kind of dry out my lips a little bit mind you i was eating and like you know drinking like out of glasses and stuff today so lots of like transfer happening so the lips are just like fully gone but these lip glosses like they did feel nice on the lips i don't think like they're nothing like crazy but they are a nice formula like i would use them definitely again this is just so easy for travel i feel like just to throw in your purse especially because it's like a hard packaging but it's still a squeezy tube so you don't need a mirror to apply it so i would actually use that again but i think that's all the products right so that is the finished look after nine hours let me know what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching let me know what your favorite products from rem beauty are and what brand i should try out next on my skin type um i would love your suggestions down below but if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads if you want to see more content from me i do post daily on instagram and tiktok at living your and i do have my podcast loud talk with lavi where we get loud about breaking down the walls of beauty standards one flaw at a time every single sunday on youtube spotify apple at loud talk with lavi just search up loud talk with lavi and you'll find the full podcast we're on season two baby my brand nine to five skin is um out for sale at nine to five skin.com i think that's all i think that's all i have to tell you so hope you're having a fantastic day night whenever you're watching remember to tell yourself something you love about your skin today and i will see you in the next video bye guys tell me baby what's the problem Cause I keep trying to figure it out